In the summer of 2024, Paris will host the Olympic and Paralympic Games. And if all goes to plan, this high-profile occasion could also mark the first ever commercial flights using new Evatol aircraft. A consortium of partners, including aircraft developer Volocopter and French airports group ADP, is working hard to be ready for the two-seat Velocity aircraft to be used to connect five key sites around the French capital. We just announced five operating sites. Two at airports, so one at Charles de Gaulle Airport, one at Le Bourget Airport, which happens to be the media village also for the Paris Olympics and Paralympics. So we will have a flight between those two areas to show that we can also operate in very complex airspaces. So if we can make it there, we can make it everywhere. We have three other sites, so the existing operating helipad Isili Molino, where there is today already an existing tourism flight from Isidmele Molino to Versailles. We will electrify this route immediately for tourists and we will have a third flight from Isidmele Molino, which is there, into the city center Gare d'Ostelit on a floating barge where we will land to show that we will fly already into the city. This is important because today the city center, there is no allowance for helicopters to operate and we will be allowed to. There's a lot of work to be done, and the clock is ticking to when the games open in July next year. We will right now start test flying our commercial conforming aircraft. Second, we are ramping up our production also in Germany. So that means we build a couple of the conforming aircraft and fly, fly, fly against the test requirements set by the European Aviation Safety Agency, EASA, which is our certification body. Secondly, what we have to do is obviously building up our routes together with our partners. So we are breaking ground in different sites with airports of Paris, also with our partner Choose Paris Region, to really have the verti ports and landing areas ready. And last but not least, we need to be ready for operations. So we set up an operating company, also a company here in France, to train pilots, also to build up the maintenance, and all that in the next 12 to 13 months. We have test flown a lot, but this is then the commercial proof point where we can do. And what we want to do out of that is clear, learn, learn, learn. Improve our operations, work with authorities, work with the public, also on the public perception. Because um, this is obviously a challenge that a lot of people don't know Air Taxi and think they're coming in 10 years. No, they're coming next year. The most vital step in Velocity's race to the starting line for the Olympic Games will be for Volocopter to complete type certification for the all-electric aircraft with the European Aviation Safety Agency. That process has already spanned several years. We started very early with that process. We exist since 2010. We have a lot of prototypes, you know, uh, developed and flying. In 2017, we decided we go for a full commercial license with EASA. No legislation was there, so developed together and the EASA brought out in 2019, then confirmed 2021, the so-called SC VTOL, which is our baseline for certification. Having all that um, achieved, we are also now, a, I would call, a small aircraft manufacturer. So we are allowed to develop aircraft and produce aircraft. So all that has led to the progress we have made, so we are very confident that we make it next year. To start with, Volocopter's first aircraft can only be used for very short hops with a pilot and just one passenger on board. But as battery technology improves, there could be more to come from this and other Evatol aircraft, which companies like Volocopter say will make air taxi services far more affordable and quiet than today's helicopters. It's 100 times safer as a conventional helicopter because we have this redundancy. We have 18 motors. If one or two fail, it doesn't matter. We can still safely fly. We will start with a pilot who can communicate with the tower, who can communicate to the passenger and see if there's an obstacle coming, the pilot, he or she can diverge from it. And we have one passenger and we learn from that. Obviously, we would love to fly more passengers immediately, but battery technology is not there yet. 
We believe battery technology will be there in two to three years, where we will then bring out our next generation product with three seats available. And then you really have a taxi in the air. Initially, we will fly 30 to 35 minutes, depending on the concept of operations hovering time, but then we really want to enhance to 40, 50, 60 minutes flight time. Follicopter's initial role as an operator, as well as a manufacturer, could change as the number of Evertol vehicles in service worldwide proliferate. And with luck, it should all kick off in Paris next year. Yes, in our business model, it's clear. We are threefold, right? So we are a bit like Tesla. So we are an OEM, we produce vehicles. We have our software, Volo IQ, our brain, our intelligence managing the fleet, but we also will operate. Um, in the future, I think predominantly we will be an OEM plus software. And our operations, there are different you know, norms globally. In Europe, we can operate on our own. We can be the airline that we build up. In other countries, like for example, Japan or uh, Saudi Arabia, we will enter into partnerships and joint ventures that we have already set up because there are foreign ownership restrictions. So we share the operations and we don't have to do everything on our own. We um, like to have strategic partners also there, um, maybe on the cargo side and so on, that help us in operating.